Hey, what is up guys? It's Chris and today we're talking about something pretty interesting. So today's video, I wanted to kind of give my opinion on if and when a gay guy should conceal or hide his sexuality. So I just want to preface this by saying I'm all for being out and being proud of who you are, but I do personally think there are definitely situations where it would benefit someone to hide their sexuality or pretend to be straight. I know for some gays, such as myself, well, for me personally, people don't really know I'm gay unless I tell them or if I'm acting super gay. And I mean, I should say acting gay in quotations because I mean, what really is gay? If you're already pretty, people can't tell that you're gay. You don't really need to worry about this. This video is more for people who are more obviously gay. For some other gays, people will judge them according to stereotypes and they will presume their sexuality based on these stereotypes. The people who are doing this, they might be wrong or they might be right, but they still do it anyways. And the stereotypes that I'm referring to, for the most part, are things that would make other people think a guy is gay. For the most part, this is gonna be anything really feminine related, whether it's their voice, wearing makeup, painting your nails, wearing clothing that's slightly more feminine. Although painting your nails isn't really that feminine anymore because a lot of straight guys do it. But the thing is, even though straight guys do it, they still get called gay for doing it. So that's why I'm still including it. Okay, why is this like so bright? The whole point of this video is when I think it could potentially benefit a gay guy who is obviously gay to hide his sexuality and act a little more straight. So the most obvious and the easiest way for a gay guy who is obviously gay to hide his sexuality would be making your voice a little deeper. But in some other situations, there are some other things that you could also do, which I'm going to get into. And I already know a lot of people will probably say you should never hide your sexuality, but in the modern world, there are definitely some cases where it could even save your life. And I know that's a little bit dramatic, but it's probably true. And of course, there are just other cases where it could just help you avoid confrontation, not get called slurs, or just benefit you in general in some type of way. So I'm gonna count down the top five situations where I think it could potentially benefit someone who is gay to act like they are actually straight. Situation number one, this one's common sense. If your life is in danger for homophobic reasons, obviously it would help you if you could act straight. So, and like I said earlier, the, the only way you can really do this is this wouldn't be gays that have their nails done or who dress a little feminine or wear makeup because you can't really change that in the moment. I mean, you could maybe if you're wearing long sleeve, like hide your hands in your sleeve or put them in your pockets maybe. So mostly this is gonna be where I would say you would change your voice. I'm sure you guys would agree if your life is in danger, could definitely be beneficial to deepen your voice on purpose if it could save your life. I mean, it's so something so simple. Situation number two, some people might disagree with this one, but honestly, in a job interview. This is where, because it's a planned thing, you could just not wear makeup, not have your nails done, dress more not gay, and then talk in a more masculine voice. But hang on, this would only really be for homophobic companies or maybe the interviewers homophobic. But in general, I'd say it's a safer bet because no one is really gonna object to you if they think you're straight because that's what is considered normal. Another thing that makes this kind of less viable would be if you get hired by pretending to be straight and the company is actually homophobic then whenever you work there you would also have to pretend to be straight so well probably because then let's say you just pretend to be straight for the interview and then you go there and you're like super flaming homo and then they fired you for that you could actually sue them for that so that's where it could definitely benefit you whereas if they knew you were gay from the start they might not even hire you onto the job so for most jobs you can't be fired for it but there are some certain jobs mostly religion related where they could still fire you for it. 
Honestly, I might recommend this unless you know for sure the company likes gay people or they don't have a problem with it. That's the second situation where I think pretending to be straight could be pretty advantageous for someone who's gay. Situation number three, let's say you're living at home, you're still a teenager, you're not out of the closet yet, your family is homophobic. This is where I would definitely say you might wanna try a little extra hard to pretend to be straight and not really try gay things, at least in front of your family. You can do it on your own, obviously, but it could make your life a lot easier if you just pretend to be straight while you're at home until you have the means to support yourself so you can move out if you have decide to come out and your family doesn't take it well. And I know how badly when you're in the closet you just want someone to know that you're gay so if you do tell someone make sure it's someone you trust a friend you trust or someone you know for sure who's not homophobic maybe test the waters a little definitely just make sure you trust them because it does feel a lot better when you're in the closet just to have someone else who knows and to feel like you don't you're not hiding yourself you don't have to hide in front of them if you guys really want someone to know that you're gay, be careful, but you can DM me on Twitter or Instagram. I might not see it, but if I ever do see it, obviously I'm not gonna tell anyone. So you can feel free to tell me if you want, it's up to you. Just be careful that whoever you're hiding it from doesn't check your DMs, maybe make a separate account, but then I could be the person that knows for you. Maybe that would make you feel a little better. All right, the fourth situation is in high school. I'm not really gonna go into much detail in this, but it could make your high school experience a little better. It's kind of different for everyone. Potentially, you should wait until college because college is so much more accepting than people in high school because high school is literally just all snakes and everyone is fake. And situation number five, this would just be general micro situations is what I'm going to call it, which would be any place or anywhere where maybe someone overhears you saying something gay or being a little feminine and they start maybe trying to make fun of you or you feel like you could be in a little bit of danger getting beaten up or like just uncomfortable vibes from someone. So then you just switch on the voice, say something super straight like, yo, football or I don't know, something like that. <laughs> And that could really just be any situation where you feel like that. That was the fifth situation, but it's multiple situations. With all of that said, I know it can be stressful and wear down on you mentally and emotionally when you have to pretend to be something you're not and hide your sexuality. Pretty much every single gay man knows what it's like because that's how we felt when we were in the closet. I'm not really saying you should ever hide your sexuality if you don't want to. I'm just saying it could benefit you in these certain situations. I do think personally, it's definitely important to have friends or family who accept you for who you are, where you don't have to hide, where you can completely be yourself. Try and find those people. And if you're gonna tell them, just make sure there's someone that you trust. All right, so now is the part of the video where I ask you guys, did you agree with the situations I listed? Do you think there are any other situations? Please leave down in the comments your opinion. I love reading comments. I always read them all. Also, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed this video and if you want me to make a part two to this video where it could actually be beneficial to be more obviously gay. I already have some ideas for that one. Kinda am definitely gonna make that in the future. So if that's something you're interested in and you're not already subscribed, maybe subscribe. I don't know, it's up to you. That's all I really have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Stan Chris, stay woke. Peace.